The Sportsman's Table, brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. By South Carolina, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer. Joining me today from the Culinary Institute of Charleston is Chef Kevin Mitchell, chef instructor here at the Institute with a seafood lover's dream. Kevin, pan seared spot tail bass, yes, pea succotash. Yes. Man, what do you got going on today? Uh, well, on the pea succotash, we're going to do some um, local Anson Mill Red Sea Island peas. Oh, wow. I got some tomato, I got some corn here, some shallots, a little fresh herb, oregano, basil, Ooh. some chives, a little sherry vinegar and some butter. Well, I've got the fish for you and my food saver right. vacuum packaging system. Hey, it keeps food and fish five times longer fresher yes, right there, okay? Yes, it does. And that's what we're gonna put in there. I caught that fish and let's get started with this, right, okay? Great. Yeah. Let's do it. Kevin, what's our first step today? First, we're gonna take a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive, okay. olive oil. Okay, from our great friends at Olinda Olive Oil. Yeah. And then we're gonna season the fish, a little bit of kosher salt. Mm. It's got to be kosher, right? Yes, sir. There you go. A little bit of uh, fresh cracked black pepper. See, if you only knew what went into catching those things, huh? <laughs> I'm sure. Now, normally what some chefs do is they will dredge this in a little bit of flour. Okay. And right here we have some what we call wondra flour. I got you. And that is a very extra fine flour that makes things really, really crisp. Gotcha. So we'll start with the fish flesh side now. Okay. Now, what type of flavor will that add to the fish? Um, the, the flour, actually it'll add no flavor to the, okay. to the fish. It's all in the salt and pepper. What I the flour you. does is just gets it a little bit extra uh, nice and crisp. Right. And gives it a really nice brown caramel, caramelized color on top. Okay. And how long are you going to sear it for? So we're going to do this probably for about two to three minutes per side. Just long enough so the fish gets that nice caramelization on top. We'll flip it over and we'll finish cooking it from there. Wow, it smells awesome. Okay, Kevin, the fish is searing. What's next? All right, now we're going to start working on the succotash. So okay. Once again, we got a little bit of olive oil. Gotcha. We throw in some finely minced shallot. Great. A little bit of fresh corn okay. cut off the cob. Mm. Now this here can either be already cooked or um, just throw it in raw. I like to throw it in raw because it gives it a little bit of texture to I it. I got you. We have some pre-grilled red onion. Oh wow! That will go in there. And those are not even making me cry. <laughs> so what we want to do is we want to uh, get the uh, shallots and the corn nice and uh, caramelized. Okay. From there, we'll add some uh, diced tomato. Great. So these are Roma tomatoes that have been uh, seeded. Okay, now is there a reason you take the seeds out? Um, personally, I just don't like the seeds. I got you. Okay. Well, that's your uh, chef's prerogative. Yeah. There you go. So, we got that stuff in there, and now okay. we want to just season it a little bit of salt and pepper got it. to develop some of the flavors. Okay. So while that's going, we'll turn the fish over, see that nice brown, brown Yeah, there you go. Really nice and crisp. Wow. We'll set that over on the side, then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay. Uh, what I like to do here is we'll add a little bit of chopped chive. Okay. Some fresh basil, chiffonade. Oh, wow. Awesome. And some whole oregano. Okay. Mm, man, that really smells great. Okay. See, all those years of training, it comes down to this. Yes, there sir. you go. <laughs> all right. So, once we have that in, then we're going to add uh, our Sea Island peas. These okay. are already cooked. Gotcha. So, we'll add these in here. Mmm. And these are already warm, so they won't take very long to cook. I got you. All right, so now we got all that stuff in. Now we're going to add the uh, reserve liquid from, from the beans when we cook them. Okay. Just to give it a little bit of moisture. Got you. This doesn't take much time at all. Wow. Mmm, smells awesome. Mm. Let that cook down. We'll add a little bit of sherry vinegar. Okay. And folks, you can get this recipe off our website at bobredfern.com. This is and one for the record books. There you go. Nice and rich. We're going to add some, a little couple pats of fresh unsalted butter. Okay. Woo. And what that will do is help bring it all together, give it a nice sheen. Okay. All right. So now we're ready to go. All right. We're going to take some of the succotash on the bottom of the bowl here. Make mm. sure you get some of that nice liquid. There you go. 
Mm. Smells awesome, Kevin. Then we're going to take a nice piece of fish that will go right over top. And then what I like to do is just add a little bit of herb to it. Mm. So we'll put some fresh oregano on top and then we'll sprinkle just a little bit more chives and that's it. There you go. Ooh. Pan seared spot tail bass, pea succotash. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for being my guest You're today on the show. And from you. our great friends at Olinda Olive Oil, right, for you to take this back something in the kitchen. And we appreciate All it very right. much. Thank you so much. And folks, go online at the Culinary Institute of Charleston.com if you'd like a career in the culinary arts and become a chef like Kevin. And for that, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer than when it's certified South Carolina. Go online at certifiedsegrown.com and see for yourself. If you would like to have this recipe and others featured on this program, visit our website at www.bobredfern.com.